Hi, I'm John with Isthmus Sailboards, and today we're going to cover the new RRD Extra rig. This will be a 6 0 sail, and we'll show you um, it from the beginning. When you first receive it, rolling it out, rigging it up, and try to talk briefly about the sail. Let's get started. The sail comes with its own carrying case, so your boom, mast, sail, and base extension will be all included in this bag. Comes with the carbon fiber extra C35 mast. We have our nice sail that has a nice toggle retention. It's all rolled up tight. We'll unroll that in just a moment. The extra small diameter aluminum clamp-on boom with a pawl already attached. A skinny, uh, what they call the compact series, um, RDM 34 centimeter extension. It's a Euro pin model. We'll come with it. Get some extra parts and hardware. Uh, this will be rigging instruction guide and a little key ring from RRD along with some stickers. In addition, um, all of our bases for hard body boards come with a one bolt Euro pin mast base that connect into your extension. All right, let's get started on the rigging. First time you rig your sail, you're gonna release the toggle. Make sure you're in a clear area. But in this case, we're going to have some paper product protecting the sail to remove. So in rigging the sail for the first time, the sail is going to tell you what it needs. It needs a boom length of 188 centimeters, plus or minus 2. So 188 should be the middle range of the boom setting. It will need 16 centimeters of mast extension, and it uses a 430 centimeter mast, an RDM in this case. So we can start off and set our extension. Right now, it's about at the six setting, and we'll set it up to the collar. Put it at the number 16 as a starting point and seat it back on itself. Next, we're going to take the mast, top section of the mast, slide it up our mast sleeve pocket, got a nice little uh, fitting there so it's easy to fit your mast up easily. We're going to try to run the mass on the top side of the battens. I put it halfway together, halfway in. Make sure this is nice and clean. Both sections fit together. Slide the mast tip all the way up into the top of the mast cap area. Continue, continue pulling the down hole. Notice I'm supporting the sail above ground. I'm going to insert the mast extension at this point at our 16. They're loose under your rope, and we are going to go to the innermost channel from underneath. We are going to go to the innermost outer pulley from inside to out. We are going to come up to the outer pulley guide, so outside over the top. Pull 
we bring the rope over the outside this time. So it's over the top and through. And last, right through the middle from the underside. And you can see how clean our ropes are flowing. And that will come right into our cleat at the end here. So as I'm down hauling, uh, and I'm kind of holding the sail up a little bit here, so don't crush it on the ground. Um, as I'm down hauling it, now I can set it down on the floor. We'll have this much more extension, uh, basically downhaul that we want to clear. So when they give you these readings of the boom extension, addition to the mast length, so 446 centimeters. What they mean is we want the pulleys to come in contact or be within uh, a half an inch to an inch of the lower pulleys, upper to lower. Uh, we're gonna close this gap. I have a Maui hookup. It's one of the tools I like to use for downhauling. It's really easy to use. You can buy this as an accessory. You simply wrap the rope around and back through on itself. That's how this guy works. And as I downhaul, I'm bending the mast. You can see that now the batten tips are basically moving from the leading edge towards the midsection of the mast. Still have an inch to go. Pull it the rest of the way, and now you can see how much of a dramatic difference just that extra inch makes for downhauling the sail properly. Now they're almost touching. You can see how much shape is in the sail now and that our batten tips are now on this sail at about the mid section of the mass diameter. Okay, so right about here is where the batten tip is riding before we attach the boom. We'll come back to some fine tuning here in a moment. Next, we're gonna take our boom. It's 160 centimeter length to start with at its shortest setting where it says zero. You push the butt, the levers up to adjust. It's a twin clip, so there's two clips going, passing through holes. And this calls for 188 centimeters plus or minus two. So we can start off with 188 centimeters, which uh, in this case, we are adding 28 centimeters to 160 centimeter boom to equal 188. Lock it in place. Make sure your ropes are hanging free. It's brand new. This particular boom is a RDM boom only, meaning this will only rig on a RDM skinny mast due to the size of the cup here. Next, we're gonna attach the boom to the sail. Depending on your height will depend on where you're going to place it in the mast sleeve uh, when you attach it. You can attach it and move it, but it's easier to kind of get it in the right position. We're going to start right with the middle position for now. The idea is you want your boom height to be about shoulder, the top of your shoulder height. Clamping this on now, you see the cleat, 
I'm going to close this handle and I put some tension on the rope. You can see how much tension I have to begin with. And as I close it, at this point, you can see there's a lot of resistance. And you should hear a little snap. For the out hole, we have this little tag on here for now, but you're just going to take your rope, make a big open loop, pass that loop right through the grommet, and then hook it over the top of the loop and go system. You can see we've got some distance here as I'm pulling on this. This is the middle, middle length. And we'll just set it here, pull it to the outhaul position. This is what I call positive outhaul. Feel a lot of tension here. And this is the minimum setting or the medium range setting for the outhaul per RRD's instructions. The more outhaul you put on a sail, the less stomach the sail will have. So if you're starting off or it's a windy day and you might have too big of a sail size, set more length to your boom so you have less draft in your sail. This is once again the medium range. If we set less outhaul, this pocket will get deeper when you harness the wind. There's a small pocket. You can take your excess rope and feed it. There's a small hole. There you go. Pull it up, out of the way. Cinch, and now you can put all of your spare rope right in the storage pouch. Okay. Your uphaul passes through an opening at the leading edge of the mast pad. And it simply wraps right around this part of the sail. Makes it nice and clean, easy to uphaul. The back of the sail, we determine this is a good starting point for us, rigging wise. Simply wrap the excess rope around and on itself, so kind of underneath itself. Pull it tight and that'll keep your rope from flying loosely behind your sail when you're, when you're underway. Next, we're going to stand the sail up in this case because we got a showroom that can allow us to do that. Keep in mind, your mass base adds about four inches of height when you plug it in on your board. This is set a little low for me at this time. Boom positioning and height can affect your boom length. So keep, this is right in the middle. Uh, the lower we set it or higher we set it, it can change to a longer or shorter boom length. So now I've got the sail in my hands. See a nice grip on the boom, very comfortable. We switch sides to this side. If there's no wind, you're going to have to give the sail a tug so the batten tension or internal pops to the other side. Now let's talk a couple about a couple features of the sail um, now that it's assembled and ready to go. Rigging this up for the first time, all of the batten pockets are showing support. Um, supporting the sailcloth, it's very smooth at each batten pocket. So this has been tuned at the factory and should be ready for you to use right away. There are many battens to give 
support to the leach area of the sail. Here we have an indication of minimum downhaul, maximum, and this is the medium range. What that references to, so when we lift the sail up, you'll see a gathering of the sailcloth forward, kind of a loose scallop look to those, that marker. Look at a couple features of the sail. We have reinforcement, as I mentioned. There's going to be a reinforcement piping on the foot of the sail. You have reinforcement patches, so when you're rigging, your sail is not scraping against whatever surface. There are internal batten tensions. The sail should have a key in the sail bag. We'll try to find that. Sometimes it's in the actual mass bag. But in this case, with this sail, I don't feel there's any necessary batten tensioning. This is a batten tensioner that was in the bag as well. Um, this tool will be used to adjust batten tension. Uh, for the sake of this video, uh, we'll make some adjustments to the batten just so you know what I'm referencing. When you turn this counterclockwise, you'll see that the sail panel is no longer supported 100%, the leading edge, you've got lots of wrinkles. And as I turn it clockwise, it is tensioning the batten pocket. So you don't have any wrinkles in it. That's what you want. You want no wrinkles um, if you can avoid it. Derigging. Now that you're done sailing, you want to derig your sail. The first thing you do is you remove the boom from the sail. So we're going to release the outhaul, release the tension, just pull up. Remove the loop and go. We'll remove our up haul. And release the boom from the sail. To remove the boom off of the mast, if you just pull downward, um, it will, downward and out, it comes right off. I close my handle right away. Make my boom as short as possible for the bag. Setting up the zero. set this aside. Next we're going to release the downhaul, feed it out of the retention hole. If you stand on the base and lift down and out, it comes out of the cleat. Back off the tension. Move the rope out of the cleat 100%. Extract your extension out of the bottom of the mast. And now we're going to simply kind of twist and pull the mast out of the mast sleeve. Next, we'll take the top of the sail. We are going to roll it over gently. Uh, just roll it parallel, holding it snug. Got a nice snug roll. We'll take our little toggle switch, or toggle bungee, put
pull it over. And now we have a nice tightly rolled sail to put back in our bag. I typically put the boom in first. The sail in next. Mast extension. I like to tidy up and pull all the rope together. Put it in the, the sail bag so it's not rattling around. We'll have the base as well. And sometimes people will disconnect that combination. To keep in the sail bag. Like so. Remember your tools. You might want to keep these someplace else. And you're ready to go. RRD Extra 60 Complete Rig Package Rigging Instructions. Let us know if you have any other questions uh, by emailing us at isthmussailboards.com. Info at isthmussailboards.com.